So the battery revolution is on us, it's with us. We have seen more and more battery kit enter the market in pretty much every single industry, every single category, wherever you go now, everybody is talking about battery powered machines, cars, vans, tractors, and now lawn mowers. Ride on mowers are now a very popular thing to go for when it comes to buying lawn equipment, having it battery powered. There is already a multitude of strimmers, chainsaws, blowers, rotary lawn mowers, everything you can think of is pretty much already battery powered. But the revolution of ride on mowers has just hit us. We are doing a series of videos where we're testing lots of different ride on mowers and they are being shown on our YouTube channel. So you can watch throughout the series that we've done on lots of different battery mowers. But today it's all about battery versus traditional petrol. So we've got this beautiful Alco T15 here, which is running a 15 horsepower single cylinder engine with a 93 centimeter cutting deck. And then we've got the new Alco battery rider, which is the R85.1, which is 81 centimeter cut. Are they the same? No, they're very, very different. We'll go through why they're different in a little while. But we're Hayes Machinery. This is our YouTube channel. Please consider subscribing. Let's crack on. So today, I've invited Lewis down with this amazing little battery ride-on. It is a collecting ride-on, the same as this one, and we're gonna put them through their paces to see if the battery stuff is as good as the petrol. But first of all, we're just gonna run you through the machines. So I think the easiest thing to start with, James, is what are the similarities between battery and petrol? Pretty simple. I've got a steering wheel and I've got a tight turn radius. I don't know about my tight turn radius. I think it's pretty good. Cutting heights. This is. <laughs> what about cutting heights, James? I've got 10 positions from 25 all the way up to 130. Well, I've only got six height cutting positions, but mine does go down lower than yours to 20 mil. Mm, that's better. But it's a good range. Again, when it comes to the grass plots, I've got 190 litre collector with a telescopic lever. I've got 220 litre grass collector with a telescopic lever. When it comes to where we're sitting, I've got quite a nice, comfortable high back seat. I could probably nearly fall asleep on this one if I wanted. Yeah, fair enough. Quite comfortable. What about when it comes to the controls? I've got a forward and back rocker switch and also infinitely variable speed. What about you? I've got infinitely variable forward and reverse hydrostatic with, on the two pedals. So forward and reverse on the pedal. The further you push it down, the faster you go. Same principle on the back. So I guess the only thing we've really got different is what we've got under the bonnet for you and under here for me. Okay, all right, you start Start your engine. All right, I'll start my engine. Started. Where's the choke? I don't have any choke. <laughs> all right, I'll start my engine. That's not much louder than an average Hoover. No, it isn't. Sorry, actually. vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. We should get it right. So that's the main difference. Is obviously noise level and ease of use. And the other thing, where do you put your petrol, in, mate? I don't have any. I just have a charger um, underneath here. <laughs> Whereas I've got a, obviously petrol tank, good old gasoline engine in underneath, a 15 horsepower of it, which is extremely noisy compared to such a modern. Sorry, I've still got the engine running. I better turn it off. <laughs> Save the battery power. What's your runtime like on a on a full charge? Full charge on this, I can do up to six thousand square meters, or two to two and a half hours. Okay, so six and a half thousand, uh, six and a half thousand square meters. Yeah, acre so and a half. Yeah, acre and a half. Yeah. yeah. Whereas this one on a tank of fuel will probably do about about an acre, probably on a tank of fuel, maybe a little bit more. But obviously, it all depends on how you're driving them. Yeah. So sometimes with, with anything, it's a bit like if my wife drives the car compared to if I drive the car. If I drive the car, the fuel consumption is a lot worse. Same principle on mowers, the same principle on battery-powered machinery. But obviously, there's a lot more variant with regards to cutting a lawn because if your grass is thick, wet, damp, long, short, it's going to be there are very different variables on how long all different things last. And I guess the other thing you have to be honest and consider is my refill and recharge time is 12 hours. And how long is yours? Uh, about four and a half minutes. 
yeah so <laughs> again on that if you do have a huge big area you need to cut constantly and often maybe the petrol option might be better for you so with obviously a long charge time with that being able to refill petrol on this there's pros and cons to all as there is with most things you know yes this mower is bigger than what that one is it's got a slightly wider cut and it's designed it's got bigger collector everything is a little bit larger on it wheels absolutely everything but we're going to now put our mowers through some nice devon thick field grass because this isn't lawn seed this isn't a basic lawn we're going to see how well they perform is the little new modern rider going to be as good as its petrol equivalent let's find out let's go just there, James and I showed you the differences. Now we want to show you the most important thing. How well do they cut and collect grass? So James is there on his, let's say, old school, older version of the tractor. And I'm here on my new modern battery machine. We're going to drive down as close as we can to one another, hopefully not crashing, <laughs> and then come back and look at the quality of the cut and see how much grass we've picked up along the way. So I'll start my engine and start my blades. Pressure. So if you're looking up through there, to be fair, you can hardly see the difference of quality between the two, but that's not overly thick grass. So we're gonna do the same again over there. Unbelievable. I can't believe he crashed into me. I feel a bit of a warranty claim coming on. <laughs> yeah, I'd say there's plenty of space still there. <laughs> right, should we do some more cutting? We've got to empty some grass boxes. You might be wondering why we were going around random all the time. The main reason being is we didn't discuss where we're gonna to try to start with. But the good news about that is that if you look back at the lawn now, you can't actually see where that one's cut or where this one's cut. Lewis reckons it's experienced that we've got the cutting heights the same. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's more- It's just pure luck. It was pure luck. <laughs> But that's worked really, really well. So it's nice that, you know, you can't see the difference. In other words, that cuts just as well as this does. Yes, it's a little bit narrower. And it's got a smaller grass box. So this is better for wider, larger, open spaces. But that one's more nimble and around the trees and in tight spaces. Very impressed. Very impressed. That's good. Can I have a go now? Only well, problem's not to break it. Okay. Because you do usually break most things. Thanks, mate. Appreciate and, that. And also, why is it every time I come here, I end up cutting your grass <laughs> and doing all the work for you? I'm not really sure how that's fair. I don't know. The way it turns out, there's always grass to cut, you know? That's right. Well, it's scarifying last time. It worked well. That was raking. That was manual, proper manual work. At least this time, you just get to sit down. True. It's more comfortable. <laughs> but I think
think I think we can summarise by saying it doesn't matter if you're going for battery power or petrol power, you still get a good quality car. We do, yeah. It doesn't really matter. Whatever suits you, whether it's petrol or battery, it's going to do what you wanted to do. And obviously, Alco, German engineered, you can't really go wrong. European made machine for collecting grass, you can't beat it. It's great. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.